Gulf of Thailand, dawn is breaking. Two ships on a hunt. The PGM-111 and HTMS Wahin patrol vessels of the Royal Thai Navy. At midnight, they left the Satahib naval base in the eastern province of Chonburi, following tip-offs from local fishermen. A fleet of 20 Vietnamese fishing boats operating in Thai waters without permission. Their mission is to intercept and capture the intruders. These guys are relying on radio reports from local fishermen. And as the sky brightens, an aircraft joins the search. A couple of hours later, a suspicious fishing boat. Without delay, the PGM-111 speeds up to intercept. Then another boat comes into view, prompting the crew of HTMS Wahin to prepare for a potentially violent confrontation. Then minutes after the boats were spotted, the Thai Marines reach one of the boats. It took the Royal Thai Navy Task Force almost nine hours of operating time to locate, chase and apprehend an illegal fishing boat. And this just goes to show how difficult patrolling the Gulf of Thailand is. After a quick search, the Vietnamese fishermen are transferred to the PGM-111. They will be charged with trespass and illegal fishing while their boats are confiscated. After 12 hours at sea, the Marines have managed to confiscate five illegal fishing boats and arrest 43 Vietnamese fishermen. Many of them are teenagers. The patrol ships are sailing back to the naval base in Satahib. The Vietnamese fishermen will be detained there for a few days before being transferred to the police for further investigation. As for these guys, it's now time for a quick rest before their patrol begins again at daybreak. Panu Wong Chung, China News Asia, HTMS Wahin, Gulf of Thailand.